Welcome to 2024. Thanks for checking out our e-newsletter videos. As we recap 2023 stats and look ahead, there's a lot to cover. Let's get started by jumping right into statistics. The median sales price of homes in the Pikes Peak region has decreased by almost 5% since December of 2022. It's now at 470,700. I think this decrease is related to high interest rates and home buyers waiting on the sidelines. While there are home buyers out there, most of them seem to be waiting for either a further drop in prices or interest rates before they purchase. While a 5% drop in price seems significant, it only reduces monthly payments for a median priced home by around $34, which isn't really enough to get those buyers off the fence. Interest rates can have a much bigger impact on buying power. For example, a 2% drop in interest rates could make a much bigger difference. Let's take a look at an example of a $475,000 house. Reducing the interest rate from 7% to 5% could lower the monthly mortgage payment from about $3,200 to $2,500. This means a savings of six to $700 per month, a pretty significant amount for a lot of buyers. To achieve that same level of savings through a price reduction alone, the house's price would need to drop to around $405,000 or nearly 15% decrease. Such a large drop in prices could negatively affect the economy. So in my opinion, the best solution would be a combination of lower interest rates, a slight decrease in home prices. Experts believe mortgage rates will drop to about 6% during 2024, which could encourage more buyers to get in the market. I checked just this morning and the 30 year fixed is at 6.62%. So we still have a little ways to go. The number of sales for December were down almost 20% from the previous year to 574. This is unfortunately the lowest number of sales we've seen in over 10 years. Listings were down almost 30% from the previous year to 430 new listings. Days on market is up 11% from last year to 50 days. Months of inventory is up about 6% from the previous year. While there isn't much good news in all that, we're hearing optimism from home builders and economists. The National Association of Home Builders, or NAHB, is cautiously optimistic for the 2024 housing market. They forecast a 4% increase in single family starts in 2024, banking on expectations that mortgage rates will fall lower and inflation will drop in the new year. This is giving me some hope Buyers can only sit on the sideline for so long, so we're hoping 2024 is the year they decide to get back in the game. Just a quick note, the school choice window for several districts is now open. Check out what schools might match for your family. While we can't steer you in any one direction, we would love to help you answer some questions. Check out our school district map on our webpage as well. Another quick note as we begin 2024, the tollway in the gap that has been painted off but not being fully utilized, tolls begin January 17th, so be on the lookout for that. Our community highlight to start the year is Victory Ridge, located in the southeast corner of Interquest and Voyager. Local Homes is the sole home builder in the community. Originally, they built townhomes adjacent the Icon Theater, and once that filing concluded, they moved into increasingly popular modern row house concept. Both townhomes and single family are currently under construction with some condos coming in the future. Like the entire InterQuest corridor, there's so much to do here. Victory Ridge was originally modeled after Orange County, California with desirable walk scores created by mixed commercial and residential use development with integrated parks. We have also seen a small hospital and medical facilities open nearby and a Korean market on the horizon. You can essentially do everything right here in the community. It's worth noting the HOA on the original townhome series did insurance a little bit differently than we were used to, and we adjusted expectations. For the most part now, townhome insurance is included in your HOA but single-family homes will be insured by individual owners, as is pretty typical. 
What was paused in the early 2000s by an economic shift is now no doubt an exciting working vision of what the developers originally planned for this area. We are impressed by the modernization of the row house concept and look forward to exploring more with you in the coming months by several great builders all over the Pikes Peak region. Watch your mailbox for the final 2023 quarterly report coming to you soon. 2023 was our first year doing these e-newsletter videos. We hope you've enjoyed them. Catch you on the next one.